Okay, so today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on sprite movement. Uh, I got a lot of good tutorial requests in the comments on my last video. Um, some of them are going to take some time to prepare, but this request was an easy one. First, I'm going to clear the screen with uh, ACLS. Then I'm going to set the sprite up with SP set. The first parameter on SP set is zero. That's just uh, the sprite ID number. The next two parameters are the coordinates of the sprite on the sprite sheet. For this example, I chose a little ship. On line three, I declare two variables and set them to the value zero. They're going to be my uh, character's X and Y positions on the screen. I'm going to skip to line 10 because the next three commands aren't important to sprite movement. They're just there to make the ship look bigger and slap some water behind it. On line 10, we're going to start our loop. Line 11, we use SPOFS to uh, move our character. The first parameter is the same ID th that we used in uh, SPSET. The next two parameters, we sub in the X and Y positions for our variables X and Y that we declared on line 3. On line 12, we are going to check if the left direction button is pressed and if it is then we're going to add one to x this changes the x coordinate of our character and thus moving the ship across the sea line 13 we use vsync to uh, slow down our loop and on line 14 we close our loop so that the program will continue to check if we press the button forever until we close the program